Today's pick a card reading, I want to be looking at the energies around reconciliation for you and the person on your mind. So what are those energies around you and them reconciling? Is it likely, unlikely? You know, just let's see what comes through. This is actually called the reconciliation deck, this of these top cards here which is a beautiful deck and underneath we have also message cards so looking at messages from your person and tarot to take a dive in and see what messages come through there so what we're going to do is get started by seeing where you are drawn and i know that for some people this feels a little bit tricky just choosing the pile knowing where to go but um, this is just where you're called on to trust just trust what pile you may be drawn to first or what a stone attracts you, whatever it is, just having the trust that that's the right one for you. Okay, let's have a look. So pile one, we have this beautiful piece of clear quartz and those who have watched my readings before will know this is often sitting right on my desk. I really love this piece of quartz. I, I love clear quartz, especially for bringing through um, messages. So it's very special to me, this particular piece. So I'll just pop it there. If you're drawn to that one, you will be pile one. Pile two, we have a piece of rainbow fluorite. It's like a globe on one side. I have set, what do they call it? A semi, like a semi hemisphere. It's not quite perfect, but uh, it is perfect, right? <laughs> it's, it's not perfectly round, but it's perfect. And on the bottom, it sits flat like that. There we go. It's pile two. And pile three, you have the raw rose quartz, which I always have some rose quartz here as well all right so rose quartz for pile three so just see where you are drawn and take as long as you need pause if you need to and i'll see you at your time stamp Hi, pile one, you chose the lovely clear quartz. I'm just gonna move it down here a bit. Uh, the lovely clear quartz, I'll pop it over here. And let's start with your uh, reconciliation cards there. We'll move these cards, the message cards up there, and put your tarot here. Okay, you're the first pile, so you get to be the um, ones where I decide which order to go in. Okay vulnerability concerns all right so somebody in this connection has their guard up it seems um yeah we'll, we'll be clarifying as we go through to see who that's connecting in with who that energy is connecting in with but one of you or possibly both of you have your guard up and are worrying about uh, letting the guard down and being vulnerable just for you okay so pile one it looks like your person is thinking about reaching out to you with some sort of communication. A letter doesn't have to be the old fashioned traditional letter. It's representative of some type of um, message or communication. So it does look like just for you, there could be some message coming. And discovery period interesting with that eye in the center of the magnifying glass and the love heart this to me is talking about somebody who is watching um watching someone they have an interest in in love watching carefully it could be online if they are able to see you during the day or have some sort of interaction with you where they can, you know, maybe you see them at passing in work or something like that or study, um, then they would be watching. But discovery in particular, the word discovery, it, it makes me feel like they're trying to discover whether you are open to them, whether you have moved on. And let's take a look what they're trying to discover here. Spirit, can you tell me more, please, about discovery period? 
there we go knight of cups so th the two things that i'm getting through are first of all whether there is somebody else who you may be having a connection with so has somebody else made an offer of love to you or um, is there interest from you towards someone else or from someone else towards you and also would you be interested in their cup of love are you still interested in their cup of love so I am getting the feeling this person's energy is still very much watching you, wanting to reach out towards you, but there's a guardedness. So let's come across here to vulnerability concerns. These um, these glasses are slippery, those of you that wear glasses will know when the handles get a bit, um, the screws get a bit loose, they're sliding. So. Okay, vulnerability concerns. Let's have a look. Who has these got? Okay, so we've got the Page of Cups, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, and the Four of Pentacles. To me, I feel like I'm I'm mostly connecting in with um, the feminine here and it does seem like the feminine is the one mostly with the vulnerability concerns like who has the guard up and it can be flipped it can be reversed for those of you who have watched readings before will know that that can be the case sometimes the energy will you'll relate more to what's being said about the other person and their side will be what's being said about you but here i feel mostly that you are the one who has your guard up to them and is holding back and they are very aware of this okay because here we had the knight of cups here we have the page of cups but they hold back because they're worried that you first of all are guarded towards them and second of all that you well just that you won't be open to them okay so they may be also worried that you're not interested, but I get it's a, a fear of rejection here. I get that it's a fear of rejection. Let's start taking a look at your tarot cards. <clears throat> These are the ones that came out in the initial shuffle. And for those of you who watch that will see that I um, really just uh, went for that shuffle and let what come out, um, what came out, came out you know so some of you got groups of lots of cards for one deck and lesser cards for others but I just took it as the messages would come through as they are meant to so we'll see what you get you've got the king of wands we'll move it down here because I'm sure you'll be able to see them more if I do king of wands okay I like my glasses on because my eyes get drawn to particular things Okay, Ten of Swords. Mm, they want to come towards you, but they know that something happened here that caused some degree of pain. Two of Cups. Look, part one, it does look to me like there is um, still emotion there and connection with this Two of Cups. The magician and they want to bring about change to this connection they want to manifest something with it so yeah some of you are literally dealing with a fire sign so a saggy or a leo or an aries they don't have to be that sign but the energy is there of the fire and want like the passion is still there but not just the passion the emotion is still there this person is very interested in what you are doing okay and maybe more than a little bit worried that you're moving on even for some of you they're worried that you're moving on towards another connection or somebody is trying to uh, tempt you into another connection i want to take a look here at uh the intuit oracle now, these are very broad cards, this particular deck. There are many um, Intuit Oracle decks. And this one I chose specifically. I'm not taking reversals in the Oracles. But these ones I chose specifically because they were broad. And I like to have a mix of ones that are more specific and more broad, particularly for this reading. Ball and chain, heavy, weighed down, codependent, trapped, restrictions, addictions, an unhappy marriage, emotional baggage. Now... When I look at this card, this could have been part of the reason the two of you um, 
went separate ways and broke up because with this ball and chain energy and it doesn't even necessarily have to have like really been that way you may not have felt that but one of you may have felt restricted in the connection and wanted more freedom for right or wrong someone may have wanted freedom that um, was not really conducive to having a coupled connection uh, and what you've both agreed on it could have been something outside they wanted to step outside of that those uh, agreed boundaries of the relationship that could be the case but take that if and as it resonates twin flames interesting yeah see we see this two of cups here and we see this page this knight of cups this person has a lot of passion a lot of loves and even this queen of cups in reverse divine partners mirror heart chakra activation reflection other self catalyst Awakening, soulmate, yin, yang, balance, feminine, masculine energies. And I did say at the beginning, I felt like I was dealing with a feminine. But the two of you, it doesn't always have to be the case. I mean, you may just connect in more with that energy because, of course, we all have masculine and feminine energies. But I feel the two of you really complement each other. So maybe you're able to, um, those energies can shift where you can, just complement each other moving and flowing in that way when you when you were together but they like I said there could have been something here where someone wasn't quite ready to accept the commitment side of it and with twin flames that can be the case you know a twin flame um, that is the case isn't it you have a, a runner and a chaser with a twin flame so Pile one, we could definitely be dealing with a twin flame connection here. The element of earth. Okay. And interesting with the element of earth, practical and grounded, solid, dutiful, measured, conservative, realistic, methodical, duty-bound, dependable, tangible builders and makers. Unlikely things are stuck. Now, I actually feel like at the moment they are stuck in their heads about whether to come forward towards you but their intention it does look like to me is to move forward so even though they may be very much caught up on this earth element and even watching you i mean that is quite a um you know but just being caught up on what you're doing in everyday life instead of just going towards what their heart's feeling and towards what they really desire that could be where they're stuck. Yarn. Complicated circumstances string along, puzzling, all tied up, conundrum, unraveled, tangled hassles, problems. Hmm. Okay, let me just clarify that one. Complicated circumstances. The one I'm drawn to most there is string along. You may be concerned, part one, that this person, because if especially if they weren't prepared to commit before, you may have your guard up because you feel like they just want to string you along and that they're not going to offer a commitment to you. So let's just have a look at that and see what we can clarify here. For part one, please, Spirit, can you show me more about this yarn card? Yeah, so with um, Awakening, it's called here, but Judgment and the Queen of Swords, you're very guarded because you may feel like they're just coming in for a physical connection. You might feel like they're just coming in and then their energy will be gone as quick as it goes again. And you're very guarded against a new beginning with this person. So you're thinking a lot about, you're weighing things up and you're thinking about whether you want to make this decision. You're trying to make a decision, part one, from the looks of it. If this person comes towards you, which it does look like you've already thought about what you will do, you're trying to make a decision that will protect you from a start here that is not just physical let me just pull another card on that ace of wands it's like if you're in you're in you want to know for sure what they're going to give yeah 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 so I do feel like there would be happiness if this person were to come back towards you and you would like a start with this person, but you don't want um, a start unless they're serious about it and that there's the relationship is going to have some very clear, um, clear, defined 
road that the both of you want to take. And I'm not saying that you have to plot out the rest of your life or even plot out, you know, six months ahead. But it's just about how maybe you treat one another. You might want them to have certain things that they were doing before that they're going to say, well, that's not part of my life anymore or something like that. It, and it could definitely be to do with commitment there. Okay, or freedom. Perhaps they tried to restrict you in some way. That's the other thing too. Let's look at the message cards here, part one. You're everything I desire. And I, I do get that as I look at these cards, like a, a lots of cup energy here, lots of water energy here, and definitely wanting to take charge and lots of passion as well. So soulmate again so you've got twin twin flames and soulmates and technically you know if you're looking at definitions they can be different things but this person may identify you in their mind as a soulmate making a decision and we did say that at the moment they can be feeling stuck because they're very worried and i do get um worried about rejection so making a decision about when and how to come forward and they want you to keep an open mind. That's what I feel there. I feel that um, keep an open mind is for you. So pile one, that's what I have for you. It does look to me that your person is thinking about you, is um, wanting to come forward, but it is feeling a little bit nervous about how you would receive them. From your side of it, it looks like you will receive them if they come in with the sort of energy that is in alignment with you. And um, without that, with this judgment and Queen of Swords, you've given a lot, lot of thought, I feel, to what you need from this connection or what you need from a connection um, and what you're prepared to give and take, you know, what it needs, to, how it needs to work. So that's what I have for you, Pile 1. I hope it was helpful for those of you that it did resonate with. And I feel like, you know, it, some of you may have really resonated with that bit about the person checking your social media and may be aware that they're doing that. But um, anyway, please hit the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Sending you lots of love and hopefully I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye. Hi, Pile 2. You chose the fluorite. Just going to pop it over there. It's so lovely. Okay, we'll put your reconciliation cards here, your tarot cards there, and we'll move the message and oracle cards up to the top. Okay, so we'll be clarifying as we go along, but let's take a look first of all at these cards and see what we get through here. Take a time out. So, Paul, to this person may be seeing this more as a pause in the connection rather than an ending, but we'll see what else we get before we come to that conclusion. But that's just uh, take a time out. A time out is a break, right? Money matters. So money could be an issue in this connection. Hmm. Secrets involved. <clears throat> okay. And daddy issues. So there can be something here connected with a masculine energy growing up perhaps or um, ideas about masculinity could be an issue regardless of gender so let's just now move across to the tarot now if you watch the shuffle you will see you would have seen that I was taking what came out so some people got more cards for some decks and less for others and it, I just felt like the right messages would come through that way that was what I was called to do today so we'll see what you get here but we can clarify the world okay so this was a big connection uh, the two of you certainly felt very drawn to each other at some point and um, the world. Okay, so let's just see what else. The chariot in reverse, so it didn't go any further. So what looked like it was going to develop into something longer term for a lot of you with that world card, it came to a stop, perhaps an unexplained stop for some of you. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, everything going along good. And um, I get like this feeling of a, a sudden change that is not necessarily understandable and with temperance. And look at this, all major arcana cards here. So this was a very uh, 
this is a big connection. It is, I will say is, because there is a deep tie between the two of you and deep, um, this is a very impactful, let me just say, very impactful connection. It's had a big impact on you. Now, let me start looking. They could have cooled, cooled very quickly here, or things could have cooled off. Temperance, um, it can be about, you know, restoring balance and things coming together beautifully. But in this context, I'm feeling like this could be representing a cooling of the energy, like everything just coming back to a place of even... For a few of you, it may have been coming back to a place of friendship, but for others, it could have been this person just completely going cool. Okay, so let me come up to take a time out. Let's start there. Spirit, can you show me more about take a time out for pile two, please? <clears throat> What's this take a time out? two they went to flip and then they sat on my hand there on my thumb okay so we've got a family and hope yes this person it looks like hopes that things can be restored with you there may even be um a hope of you know this card here this ten of cups it's shown with the family on it and there could be an extended group or family that this person hopes to connect with as well so they may have completely lost contact or withdrawn from not just you but people around you or connected with you it could be your family or um, friendship group or some sort of group around you but it does seem like they have hope for things to come back together there let's have a look Money matters. What are these money matters? Move. I'm just going to move those cards over there. What are these money matters? Queen of Wands in reverse. that seven of swords and that yeah I don't much like that energy pile too um you know the two of cups is lovely but there's something here with this seven of swords and these secrets involved where this person may have been doing something uh secretive and it may be connected to the money they may have been channeling money into something to do well to do with somebody else now, it doesn't always have to be romantically, but it can be, you know, putting money into something else that, um, and not telling you about it. And some, a third person could have been involved in that either, even or known about it. So an example of where it might not be a romantic connection. I mean, it, it could be, but an example might be if they were, um, hiding away money or squirreling away money that the two of you had agreed to save for example and someone else knew about it someone in their family for example that would just be an example there the other thing is they could have literally been spending money here what is it let's have a look yeah okay so here we have the card that connects very much with this time out the period of rest they're taking a period of rest from communicating it does look to me like they see this very much as a period of, of uh, time apart but not a full stop you know not an ending i just want to come back up here <coughs> and i want to pull some more cards excuse my cough i want to pull some more cards on this um seven of swords with the two of cups and the queen of wands what is that about? Please, Spirit, can you tell me more about that, please? Seven of Swords. For 
those of you that this person was spending money on another person, it may not have... Um, uh, that's, that's, I was going to say it may not have been anything serious in their eyes because we've got that Queen of Cups in reverse and they may have seen your relationship as the primary connection and this was some sort of fling but you could have found out through money perhaps some sort of secret could have come out through a receipt or something like that tell me more about this seven of swords justice the emperor the nine of swords the high priestess and the king of wands Yeah, look, this person feels like um, you are right to be upset with them. I do feel, Paul, too, that you are not happy with this person, that you have a, um, that you feel like they're getting what they, des they deserve from this separation, like that this is the right thing to do. This separation is the right thing. That's what it looks like to me um, from, your, from your stance here. Just having a look there. That king, yeah, they don't know. They don't know if you're going to um, stick with this or not. If you're going to, they're not 100% sure of your thinking. So some of you have cut this person off completely. Let's come over to the Seven of Swords again. Because that's bothering me. They're a bit sitting over secrets involved. <laughs> And, you know, this, you would know about this, uh, whatever these secrets involved is. And I feel like it's confirmation for you that this is your pile because this would already have happened. Tell me more about the Seven of Swords, please, Spirit. Yeah. So with that hanged man, they feel like they're paying the price for keeping some sort of secret from you. And it could have been to do with money. They feel that you're justified in um, holding back from having anything to do with them. But they're seeing this as a break. And they feel like, particularly with this hanged man, because it's not, he doesn't hang like, he does it voluntarily. So he accepts it and he goes there um, willingly. But he is not going to be in that position forever. And that's what I feel that this person feels, that things will turn around between the two of you. Okay, let's look at daddy issues. <clears throat> you may have felt this person was calling to you and then found out that they were um, spending money elsewhere. They could have yeah, Queen of Cups in reverse. Someone could have issues with expressing their emotion and it could be to do with, like I was saying earlier, uh, a mas masculine energy growing up or it could be also to do with their ideas about masculinity. So that is regardless of their gender. But um, with this Queen of Cups in reverse, I do get some sort of blocks around um, being in touch with their heart space, being in touch with their emotions and also some expression can be an issue and they may express themselves quite physically here okay let's take a look at the um oracle cards <clears throat> so i will pull cards but not till the end i feel on what they intend to do here because so far this looks to me like they are just waiting to see um uh, well, it doesn't look, I can't see any plans here at the moment. It looks to me that they just, they feel like they're doing doing their time. That's what this feels like. So, and, and that they're in this sort of limbo energy. But at the end, I'll pull cards on their intentions. Milky Way, networking, marketing, social media, publicity, internet, fame, expand, expand spotlight, innumerable connected exposure. Now, some of you, this could have even had to do with, um, with, 
you know, social media, something on the social media. That won't be for everyone. Overflowing abundance, tears of sorrow or joy, release, fulfillment, chasing after something, emotional release. This is what I feel they're seeking, but they're seeking it through um, other, other means than, um, you know, they're seeking this emotional fulfillment, but perhaps through means that are not going to lead to that. So through physical expression or through money, you know, through some sort of unhealthy way of releasing, trying to get that emotional um, connection to feel something. Elephant, gentle, lucid dreams, have your wits about you, powerful, wise, trust, telepathy, supported, supportive, obstacles removed. This is, I feel this connects in with you here. You have a, um, just have a look. This relationship is impactful here, very impactful. But you're having your wits about you and you're being very careful, you know, being very um, sturdy and solid like an, like an elephant is, you know, in your approach. And I feel like you are um, trying to approach this in a very wise way, not lose your wits here compass yeah your true north discovery life path seeking your true direction knowing where you're going loons loons deeply committed uncommon bonds family manifest deepest desires all in for what you love reawaken lost hope okay that's beautiful and sun yes so <clears throat> What I get here with this yes card, that yes, this person does want to come towards you, but I'm not seeing any um, any plans because it does look like for some of you this is quite fresh and this person is in this state of feeling like they are, are caught out and that they need to just um, wait, wait things out. So... And, and for you, you're getting very much that you are going to um, be very committed here to following what you deeply desire and what you want in love. And I do feel that there is love here going both ways in this connection. And what this person did, it looks to me, and it won't be for everyone, so please, if the message doesn't resonate, that's fine. But it does look to me that for some of you, they see it as a lot more trivial than what you see it and that doesn't of course make it right because your feelings are always valid to what um, you and you have your own boundaries but it can be something to do with them um, with them not actually having very clear uh, what is it not having very clear uh, something to do with the ego is this is this ego so they're not having clear boundaries because of ego like looking outside instead of looking within for um strength that's what it feels like to me they look to get their ego met and to feel powerful and strong through things outside of themselves and this can involve doing things um it, whether it's spending money on things that are unhealthy or um you know connecting with people on social media that it's not um, not conducive to the connection. Whatever it is, it can can be for some of them connected back to this um, masculine energy. So that that might be the case there. Let's look at the message cards here. I need some reassurance. So that that's basically um, what I'm saying here. Looking for this reassurance. Looking for this sense of self worth and and. Not just self worth. I specifically get looking for um, personal strength and power. Okay, so they may come across with a lot of um, this sort of false bravado energy, but I don't feel that underneath it they feel as powerful as they put across a message. Yeah, yeah. Your soulmate is around you. I do feel that there is a strong connection in this group and that it does go both ways, but there is some, maybe some personal work that this person might um, be thinking about doing at some stage, perhaps when they're in this hanged man energy, because even though we saw that they look like they uh, are doing um, 
some time for whatever they did in the connection the hanged man is also a very reflective and goes into that mode of um of deep thought okay so that could be where this person's at also and this could be what really allows this deep connection to come back because we get yes energy power um power climax fulfilled pride pride it could be a big thing with this person but radiant divine masculine and that's what they're trying to connect in with i feel for many of you so um victory so it does look like it has a good chance of connecting but there is something here that needs to happen to transform for this person and that is um where they're at at the moment and for many of you it has to do with this seven of swords energy which uh, yeah it's it looks like it was the the two of you just weren't on the same page about what was okay in the connection and what wasn't so Pile 2, I hope that that was helpful for those of you who it resonated with. And if it was, please do thumbs up and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Much love to you, Pile 2. Bye-bye. Hi, Pile 3. You chose the Rose Quartz. So I'm going to pop it over here. And let's separate out your cards. Okay. Oracle cards, message cards, and tarot. Let's start with these cards. We've got short-term results on the same page with a jigsaw, two jigsaw pieces, finding balance, stay the course, okay? So straight away with this um, group of cards here, pile three, it looks like this could be somebody who has a bit of a history of um, coming in and out of the connection with short-term results, finding balance, stay um, stay the course. There could be something that needs to change quite dramatically in this connection in order for a long-term lasting um, relationship to develop. And I mean, of course, we'll be clarifying as we go through and taking a look what uh, this could all be about. But the first thing that I'm getting is that this person could return and try to reconcile with you and not be putting in the same uh, or putting in the work that needs to happen. So there could be a, a false start here or this may have recently happened where um, you had short term results or you've had short term results with them coming back and then things don't work because the two of you haven't been on the same page but the, uh, for the way for it to work is going to be a need to find balance so let's have a look and see what we get through with these tarot cards the four of cups yeah they could be somebody who gets bored that's something, and it, it doesn't mean um, bored of you they could just be someone who gets bored of uh, a, a connection like they might just want constant excitement or they might want they, that initial thrill of a connection eight of pentacles okay so then they want to put the work in but you're saying to them you need to put the work in here i feel okay so the oh okay so we do have this six of cups which is interesting this could be have been going on for quite a while for some of you pile three the six of cups can be about um, past it can be about childhood this could even be to do uh, for some of them with their childhood there could have been a, a degree of change in their younger years that made it almost feel natural to them for this to happen in connections for things to constantly change and for a, a lack of stability to feel quite natural to them and as what should um, happen I'm just going to put that card down there now let's see spirit can you tell us more about this four of cups please more about the four of cups here for pile three that one caught on my finger so I think I'll grab that one okay yeah look they do have a motion for you here there is but they okay so pile three I do 
and, and you take this as it uh, connects with you, with your experience and your situation. But this does look like someone who has emotion for you and feels a connection to you, but also may want to play the field um, or may just find it very hard to settle down. Okay, show me this Queen of Swords, please, Spirit. Make your decision. I feel like it, to you, it's make your decision or forget about forget about me. Forget about this connection. Stop giving me false hope. Stop coming in and out. So let's see. Do you two find balance? Does this person come um, back and give you that commitment here, or are we getting more of this in and out energy? Because I have to say, I I'm feeling a lot of that. Um, they will keep returning to you, but I just don't know how much stability. Okay, Empress, nice. Okay, Empress is about growth. It's about abundance. What have we got? Okay, so what I get here, pile three, is that this per, that you um, maybe are growing this person okay before they get to a point of being on the same page with you now it does look like from these cards that they are going to return to go like, come back in your life return to you come back and try and start things with you they do seem to have feelings for you but I just don't know that they are going to um, be able to make the changes to settle in the time that you're going to go through some decision making here from the look of it because we've got the empress the queen of wands and to me the queen of wands is very action orientated and very about manifesting things i mean so is the empress but the empress is they're just they feel a bit different and then the queen of swords so it's like um I, I get in alignment with all these aspects of myself and then I act on them and I put, I say, I put out into the world, this is, I say to this person, this is what I need, this is what I want and I make that decision clearly, you know, the swords are all about clarity. So it's like, um, to me, this feels like you're embodying this very powerful part of yourself and manifesting the things in into your life that you want and then you're speaking your truth okay so let's just see look what happens with this person okay so we've got the chariot the ten of wands and the ace of cups okay so they do want to move forward with you but they find it hard and there is love there why is it ten of Wands there. Why is this hard for them? And what do they do? As pile three is um, making this decision that they have had enough. Ace of Swords. What else here? What do they do? Yeah, I feel like they keep coming in. They seem to um, really, they have the emotion for you, but they also seem to thrive on the emotion that they get from you. That's what I'm feeling here, pile three, that they get a lot of nurturing from you or that they have gotten a lot of nurturing from you and they feel very um, happy and connected to you for sure. But it's going to take them a little bit of their um a bit of time to catch up with where you're at and I feel like you're going to have quite a while of this person coming in and coming out of your life like coming forward with messages and telling you that they love you and wanting to move things forward with you but with that 
both the Empress and the two Queens there. I just don't know that you are going to be around for it when it finally gets to the point, you know. Well, I can't, to be honest with you, I can't see... Um, let's see. Got that. Yeah, I've got this over here. So there is a deep connection and there is love. I'll, I'll pull another card on this in, in the moment. Just Let's just have a look at these. Dolphins, peace, harmony, helpful, effective communication, playful, humour, fun, in tune with each other. You see, that's what I feel too between the two of you, that there is a, um, a really nice companionship when you're getting on, okay? There's a, a very nice connection and that this person does feel very nurtured in this connection and there's a lot of... Um, love and happiness in it but it goes also beyond that sort of loving thing to the friendship thing here book memory hidden mystery secrets the unknown philosophy intellect knowledge education manuscript author yeah so there could be something um within them that they need to be looking at as to why they're finding this hard i mean com commitment's not for everyone but it's if you're saying to someone i want to commit and then you're not, then that can be an issue. Illumination, chemistry, magical, self-discovery, soul spark, a light code, creative spark, someone exceptional. Yeah, with this illumination, so and next to the book, there could be something that they need to understand about themselves. And that's what could be up here that um, they're not wanting to maybe reach in and explore that at this time. Problem solver, so the raccoon, curious, ask questions, adaptive, creative. I feel that this is um, someone who is just, that they have the connection, but they don't seem to want to be um, tied, tied to anything, stuck in fear, yeah. And this is their message cards here. Money is an issue, okay. A reunion and I do get that so this reading is about reconciliation I do feel there's reconciliation for you there if you want it pile three but it may not just be aware it may not be long term because this person seems to have um, a, a flightiness to them okay after a while so it's not because the emotions not there but it could be something connected to their past here and they seem to have a flightiness where they are a bit stuck in fear of being locked into a connection and it's not you trying to lock them in it's themselves they don't want to um, go into this commitment thing there's something about that I feel and so what I feel like you could could get here okay you could get someone who returns the reconciliation happens the two of you um, get I'm just pulling these ones back up you find this balance you get on the same page but staying the course could be the issue here Okay, and there could be a few go rounds before you get to stay on the course. And for some of you, that may not even be something that this person gets to for a long, long time. And by then, you might have moved past wanting that. So I would just tread lightly and I would decide that if I'm going to re engage this person and I am resonating with this and I feel this and this there's a history of this cycle to know that that could definitely uh, happen again and be uh, aware of it before you make your choices to um, what you want to do okay so pile three that's what I have for you I hope that it was helpful for those of you who resonated with the message and um, let's, let me just before I finish up let me just pull a couple of message cards there it is. <laughs> I'm looking for it. It's right in front of me. Just a few message cards for pile three, please. Just for some advice for them. Because I feel like pile three, there is emotion between you and this person. But I also um, get that you may be connecting in with this message of them not being, uh, not finding it easy to 
stay you know yeah the give and take you give more okay you give more than you get don't don't be giving more than you're comfortable with pile three that's the message i feel because that's what leaves you feeling like this if you're not giving um more than you're comfortable to and to know that you may not be getting back the same amount then you're not going to have this nine of swords so just give what you're comfortable with knowing that I may not get this energy reciprocated because this person is not necessarily at a stage in their life where they are ready to um, just to give back in the way that I am. And you could naturally also with this Six of Pentacles be very um, inclined to give. This can be the message that's coming through here as well. And I'm drawn to the fact that the scales are sitting over here and the scales here. So some of you may even, um, we may have some Libra energy in joining in here, but this can be also about you. Um, yeah, the candle's just gone out. So you not giving so much that you're putting everything into this connection, okay, and leaving nothing left for you so that you're worrying about it's it's all becomes about them and you've got nothing left for you okay so that's the message i have for you pile three they will be back i feel many times if you want them and it might be difficult to tell when they're at the when or if they're at the stage of um, staying the course much love to you pile three if it did resonate please do like and subscribe and i hope i see you next time bye bye